So this is OR gate, okay? And the logic of the OR gate is that when 0, 0, it is 0. 0 and 0, it is 0. 0, 1, it is 1. 1, 0, it is 1. 1 and 1, it is 1. Now, the, how the OR gate can be realized? This is a, this is a truth table. Okay, 0, 0, 0. And the truth table in, in, in terms of false, false mean false. False, true mean true. True, false mean true. True, true mean true. This is the OR gate symbol. Two inputs A and B. A or B. This is a Boolean expression. A. This is not plus. This is OR. A or B. So, okay. Now here uh, the bulb it is an output. So when it gives light, light that it means two or it means one. And there are the two switches. The when the switch is uh, you know it is not pushed down. So it is when the switch is not pushed down it is off. Off mean it is false. Mean zero. So if the, it is not pushed down it is off. Off mean zero. So if it is pushed down it mean one okay mean it is on so now it is off this switch is off this switch is off bulb no light not it not giving light it is off so so if both are one it is one if one and zero it is one one mean the switch is on the current flows like this okay if this is zero this is one current flows like this Okay, this is zero, this is one, current is flowing like this, this is on. And uh, if it is uh, not pushed down, both are off, the, that is off. Now this is the electronic diagram, there are the two diodes, A and B, and here is a resistor, here is a power supply. When the power supply is not connected at here or at here, I mean no no current flows through the diode so there will be no output so zero zero mean this supply is not connected at here and here there will be no output at here output will be zero now if we connect this one at diode d1 d1 becomes forward bias and the current starts flowing like this when the current flows the potential build up at here and potential build up at here mean y equals to 1. So if this is 1, this is 0, this becomes 1. If the battery is disconnected from here and it is connected to this place, now this doubt becomes off, but the current will flow along this direction. Again, this point will be at the high potential. So this is again 1. So if now again, if this potential is connected at here as well as at here, both the doubt becomes forward bias and the current starts flowing. Again, this point will be at high potential, so output will be 1. So, if the battery is not attached at here and here, no doubts are working, no doubts are on, no current flowing, it is 0. If this is connected here, current flows, high potential 1. If connected here, current flows, and it, be, it comes at high potential, mean 1. If connected here and here, current flows through the both the diodes. Again, this point comes at high potential. This is one. This is the working of the, uh, you know, the OR gate. Uh, this actual OR gate, it is made up of the two diodes with one power supply. This is grounded and one load register. And again, the R thing. Output is taken from this point and uh, this point. This is again, this, you know, the symbol of the OR gate, A, B, and uh, Y. So, the if both are 0, both are 0, output equals to 0. Okay. This is again the working with the help of the transistor. So, this is a transistor, this is a transistor, transistor actually like a switch. If there is uh, no voltage at here, both the transistors are off, no current flowing, no output. But if uh, you give voltage at here, this transistor becomes on, current starts flowing and it comes at the high potential. If you give the poten potential at here, this transistor becomes on, again the current starts flowing and this point comes at the high potential. So like that, 
If there is no potential at here and here, both transistors are off, output is zero. So zero, zero means zero. If one is zero, this is one, this transistor is on, current flows, this point comes at high potential, output one. Okay, when this is one, this transistor is on, current flows, it comes at high potential, output is one. So this is how the, you know, the transistor also gives the logic of the OR gate when A and B both are zero, output is zero, zero one one, one zero one, one one mean one, like that. Okay, I think it is clear. I mean here to understand that the transistor is like a switch. The switch becomes on if you give if you give some potential if you are giving some potential at the base terminal, then this switch bec the switch becomes on. Otherwise, the transistor remains off. No doubt the power supply is attached here, but necessary condition is uh, there should be some base potential. A base should be at uh, forward bias only then the you know transistor becomes on so here the three or gates like the six inputs this is a or b c or d e or this is not f plus sign okay e or f and then this uh, you know like uh, the ic like uh, there are one two three four four or gates are attached between the different